More than a decade ago, the Acousta paper plant in Brevard closed its doors and the last freight train made its way down the Acousta line. For more than 12 years, this track has remained dormant in hopes that an industrial prospect could be found that would bring economic prosperity to the towns and cities along the line. Now is the time to consider another way to use the line for economic prosperity. My name is Don Schaldahl. Um, I'm a 30-year veteran corporate site selector. Uh, came down here for 18 months to work with Sierra Nevada. I've worked all over the world on projects, uh, visited hundreds if not thousands of communities. You know, I've had the opportunity to look at the Acousta property in Brevard. In terms of you know, trying to bring it back to a heavy industrial use, uh, doesn't really fit very well within my view of the, the global economy, you know, how North Carolina fits within that economy, uh, the industries and the investments that are taking place. It's just pretty unlikely that you're going to find a, a company that is of a quality employer that is going to invest the money to bring that rail back. I've also got lots of clients who you know, have a desire to move into a community that is um, tra attractive from a quality of life standpoint. And the Acousta Trail becomes a very important attraction uh, to this region. I'm Wayne McCall. I'm the mayor of Travelers Rest, South Carolina. My name is Al Bradley. I'm, uh, or was at the time, the director of planning for the town of Abingdon. I'm now retired. Uh, but I, I helped put the trail together and get it started. My name's Wayne Miller. I'm the president of the Virginia Creeper Trail Club. I'm Rachel Folks. I own a farm and the home right on the Virginia Creeper Trail. When the subject first came up of a rails to trails project coming through the city of Travers Rest, I have to admit, I was a little hesitant. I was a little slow to get on board with that. But even before the pavement was even put down, just as soon as the, as the, as the cross ties and the rails had come up, a, a wonderful thing had happened in our community. You saw people out with their children, moms and dads pushing strollers, people were stopping and talking to each other. In short, what had happened is our, our community was transformed almost immediately. People were neighbors again. There was resistance to the trail at the outset back in the 1980s, but it has become uh, an asset, a net asset to the community. When the benefits of the trail began to be realized, the uh, resistance went away, and it's a very positive experience for the community and for the property owners. I have friends that thought the Virginia Creeper Trail was a terrible idea. Um, the very idea that strangers would be coming through their property and at all hours and on and on and on. But they are the first ones now to tell you how much they enjoy it. They're the ones that are out here walking their dogs, uh, riding their bicycles, enjoying the trail every day where people who come for the weekend may only see it two or three times a year. So really the landowners are the ones who have a jewel. We use it all the time. When we opened up this trail, Damascus was uh, almost a ghost town. They were about to close up their doors and, and pack up and leave. Uh, the conjunction of the Virginia Creeper Trail and the Appalachian Trail, believe it or not, saved that little town. The Virginia Creeper Trail has been an entrepreneurial engine for people all across Southwest Virginia. I, I could just go on and on the numbers of folks who have developed businesses themselves right on their farms or right along the trail. Furman University did a study as far as the usage of the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Their study came back and showed that 430,000 people last year used this trail. Several years ago, the Creeper Trail Club commissioned a study to really look at the economic impact this trail has had on our community. And uh, for about a year, they interviewed people coming and going on the trail and determined that at that time, uh, five years ago, that over 200,000 users were taking advantage of the trail. And so all of that information was compiled and the economic impact was so significant for our community once we started adding um, the purchases that people made and the tax revenue that was coming from those purchases. The economic impact has been nothing short of phenomenal. There's buildings have been renovated, 
Uh, there's been about 40 new businesses pop up along the 276 corridor, which, which goes along beside the trail. There's no doubt that the Swamp Rabbit Trail has raised the value of real estate in our area as well. As a matter of fact, there's one subdivision that was completely sold out before it was even finished being built. The proximity to the trail was only about a block and a half. Because of the success of the Swamp Rabbit Trail, communities south of here, south of Travis Rest, such as Malden, Simpsonville, Fountain Inn, they're trying to figure out how to connect to the Swamp Rabbit Trail. I wasn't worried about anybody trespassing around my house or doing any kind of vandalism at my house. The people who use the trail are respectful. They're here to enjoy a pristine environment, so they're careful about uh, not leaving trash behind them. They appreciate what we do as landowners to make it accessible for them. I live in the uh, golf course community up here. The trail goes right through the, the golf course and uh, we've never had any problem with people getting off, you know, trespassing or vandalism, any sort of problems at all. It's just uh, a mutual uh, positive experience. If you have the opportunity to develop a rails to trails conversion or establish a trail in your community, not only I think will you see economic benefits, but you will see immediate health benefits to the local community and it's just something that will enhance the well-being of the community and bring it together. So I guess the question it comes, it comes down to how does a trail system fit into good economic development and, and community prosperity? This new generation of, of industry and the global economy, it has a much different makeup in terms of people and how they live and, and what they expect out of uh, their lifestyle. Trails are, are, are things that people use. Uh, you, know, you build them and people will come. This Acousta rail that connects Brevard to Hendersonville is a really unique asset as a trail, really setting this region apart from many regions around the world. And I think that's what will bring um, new investment to the community. Turning that into a trail is going to mean great things for Transylvania County, Henderson County, and the region.